Man, I can't wait. It's going to be such an amazing time to see that we're actually going to have so many different diversities come together and be like as one on the road again. The Caribbean Carnival Parade will make its return to Montreal for its 50th anniversary this summer after being cancelled last year. The Caribbean Coalition Network of Montreal, or CCNM, will be taking charge of the carnival and other festivities to celebrate Caribbean culture. It's being called the 2024 Montreal Carry Mass Festival and is scheduled to begin on June 9th with four events over a four-week period. This is a staple of our heritage and of our culture. So when it was removed, it's kind of as if you're removing something that is near and dear to our hearts. So definitely us having it back is a sigh of relief more than anything else because of the fact that it's so important to us as uh, a Caribbean, a Caribbean uh, people. The festival will feature Miss Carrie Mass beauty pageants, the Petty Carrie Mass Junior Carnival, a parade for kids, as well as the main parade, the Carrie Mass Grand Carnival on July 6th. After the parade, there will be a family-friendly gathering in a park with music, games, and food vendors. The locations of the events are still to be determined. Jason Forbes and his organization, the YUL Cultural Association, will be in charge of handling the logistics of the two carnival parades. The carnival is not necessarily a parade, it is an actual street theater. This is basically you're having a lot of people who customly make costumes that represent enslavement and emancipation of our heritage from uh, being, you know, emancipated from slavery. And basically what it is is that we are demonstrating through cust uh, customized costumes on the road uh, the artistry of basically what it is to be black and be proud of where we come from. The Kerry Mass Festival takes over from the Kerry Fiesta Parade after it was cancelled last year because of a lack of funding. This year's organizers, the CCNM, secured a $30,000 grant from the city, but the organization has also launched a fundraising campaign to raise another $75,000 to help cover the costs of creating the costumes and floats, as well as to support youth involvement, accessibility, and community outreach. You're going to expect a lot of energy. You're going to expect a lot of, uh, we call it togetherness, right? So no matter where you're from, no matter even if you're not from the West Indies, if you're, if you're from Quebec, you're whether you're French, English, black, white, we're all coming together as one to just basically celebrate a great time together and be cognizant of knowing that we are all one as, 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 as one Montreal. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.